In this video, I'm going to show you how you can activate the Divi Builder on Lifter LMS Lessons. This is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Let's dive into it. So when I go to a page in WordPress or a page or a blog post or whatever, I have this option to use the Divi Builder and sometimes that'll appear on the top. For example, if I go to a Lifter LMS course, for example, on the sidebar here and then edit, I'll have the uh, Divi Builder as an option there, or if I go to one I haven't activated Divi on, I'll have this option to use the Divi Builder at the top. But when I go into the Course Builder, typically in a lesson, if I go to edit one of my lessons, I'm not going to be presented with that same option. I can't turn the Divi Builder on. But if you navigate back to the dashboard of your WordPress website and then head down to Divi, Theme Options, and then we're going to look at Builder up here at the top. You're going to want to make sure lessons are enabled to be able to use the Divi Builder. And same for memberships. If you wanted to use Divi on your memberships, uh, that would be the same feature right here. Just make sure in the Divi settings under Builder that you have lessons and memberships activated so you can use the Divi Builder on them. Now, if I reload my lesson here, I will now have the option to launch the Divi Builder and go ahead and start building my lessons out with Divi. So yeah, that's how you can use Lifter LMS on or Divi on your Lifter LMS lessons and courses. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.